Hello, uh, this video is going to cover how to use AutoCAD to create drawings of an inventor file. So I'm going to go ahead and go to new and I'm going to grab um, my template file that I have created. I've used this since it has all my layers and everything on it. So I'm going to go to my layout. Um, for students of mine, this is in um, your um, the H drive. For others, um, this is just uh, uh, the template um, that I've added in with some some information and some attributes. So, um, since we're going to be using an inventor file, we're not going to be using our viewport. So I'm just going to select that and delete it out. Um, so here we go. So now I'm going to go to layout, and so. This is how we create a normal viewport to get to what's well, a model space, but we don't have anything in model space. It's completely blank. So I'm going to go ahead and click base, and I'm going to say from inventor. So I'm going to pick on this part. Um, if you saw my last video, this is the same part. So I'm also going to open the project file. So I'm going to go to projects. There we go just to kind of keep it going. Now I'll hit open. And if you've used Inventor, this is somewhat similar. If you've used only AutoCAD, um, this is going to be cool. So I'm going to place a view and hit exit. Now I'm going to come over, place a side view, I can put a top view in, put a, on the left side I can put a bottom view, I can put an isometric, I can put another isometric here. I can just keep placing views until I'm done. Um, once I get all the views I want, I can right click and hit enter. And so if I click the grip, you can see if I grab this and move it, that side view is going vertically with it, and the top and bottom view are going horizontally with it. They all know they need to stay lined up. If I click the arrow, I can change the scale you can see it changed the scale for everything. I could say custom. Um, come on, custom. Okay, that doesn't want to go custom. So I'm just going to go there. So I guess if I wanted to do something different, I might have to add it to my, my viewport scale list. So I'm just going to move these up. I decided I don't want this bottom view, just clicked it, hit delete, Put, move that around. This view here, maybe I don't want hidden lines on it. I just want to show a, a shaded view. So I'm just going to click on it and then go to edit view. And now I'm going to change that to shaded with edges. And then exit. Again, I can pick it, move it around. I could grab the scale. And since, um, it's automatically going to try and use the properties of the parent view, the one it came from. If I turn that off, now I can go in and make this one bigger. So there we go. Um, so there's my views. If I want a dimension, I'm going to go back over to my layers, go to dimension, linear, put in my dimensions and dimension it as normal. Um, those of you that have had me for other classes, um, when we were using straight AutoCAD and we were doing 2D, we were dimensioning in, uh, in model space um, in the viewport. We don't want to do that here. We want to dimension in the in paper space um, while we're here. So a little bit different than how we you'd learned before, um, but this will allow you to, to make it and, and do it with a lot more ease. So. Hope you um, can follow along and this helps, so I'll see you later. Oh, I almost forgot. Remember that to fill out the title block, you want to come down here, double click on the drawn by to open up the attributes editor. And now we can fill that out. JGT, I can give it a drawing title, port block. Remember to use all caps. And so fill it out and it'll fill in the title block. All right, see you next time.